Today, we are going to explore a growing concern that is affecting every Nigerian household. This is the impending shortage of skilled workers in essential trade, from your home's electrical wiring to the plumbing in your kitchen to the infrastructures that keeps our nation running. These skilled trades are the backbone of our daily lives. But what happens when we run out of these crucial workers? If we don't address this issue now, Nigeria will face a severe shortage of skilled workers in the next two decades. Imagine a future where finding a reliable plumber to fix a bus pipe becomes nearly impossible or where constructing new buildings is delayed indefinitely due to lack of qualified mercy. This isn't a distant dystopia. It is a reality that Nigeria and by extension Africa will face very soon. Why are we facing this looming crisis? There are several contributing factors, each compounding the problem. Today, we are diving into the main cause behind the shortage of skilled trade men or trade people in Nigeria and the serious implication this has for our future. First, the digital business trend. The ICT sector in Nigeria contributes approximately 15.05% to the GDP in 2022, up from 13.8% in 2021. This surge indicates a growing emphasis on digital skill over traditional trade. Meet Adil, after finishing secondary school, Adil chose to enroll in coding bootcamp. He was inspired by the success story of tech entrepreneurs. His parents supported this decision of his because it offers better financial prospects. But what does these ships mean for our traditional trade? The very foundation of our social reliance. Next, the rising cost of internet fraud popularly known as Yahoo Yahoo. This is diverting young people from honest skill based jobs. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC reported over 2,500 cyber crime related arrests in 2023 alone. This is Musa, a talented carpenter. Musa abandoned his apprenticeship to join a group of cyber crime perpetrators. Within months, he was earning more from the scam that he had ever earned in his entire life as a carpenter. This trend is not just criminal, it's also eroding the foundation of our community. Another factor is the content creative boom. Nigeria has over 33 million social media users. Many are aspiring now to be content creator. Here is Joma inspired by Instagram comedian. She then started her own comedy channel. Despite her initial struggles, now makes more money through branding, endorsements and YouTube ads than she would have made as a makeup artist. And other major factors contributing to the shortage of skilled workers we are having in the country now is a lot of skilled workers are now leaving Nigeria, not just Nigeria alone, by extension Africa, for better opportunities abroad. Nigeria Immigration Service reported that there are about 25% increase in skilled workers' immigration between 2021 and 2023. C. Ibrahim is a satisfied electrician from Kano who moved to Canada for higher pay and better working conditions, leaving a gap in the local workforce. There are a lot of Ibrahim leaving the country today in search of better working conditions and better pay abroad. Their departure is part of a broader trend that depleting our skilled labor pool, essential for our self-sufficiency as a nation. The Nigeria poor working condition and low pay discourage people like Musa from pursuing trade. One of the problems is the Nigeria educational system has not sufficiently promotes vocational training, unlike other countries of the world. According to UNESCO, vocational education accounts for just only 5% of the total educational budget, leading to underfunding and undervalued programs. Most vocational training centers in Nigeria struggles, struggle in the sense that in maintaining its facilities and update equipment due to insufficient funding. This neglect makes it difficult to produce the skilled workers we need to replace those leaving the country and finally, Societal perception plays a big role. There is a stigma associated with manual labor and many family prioritize white collar jobs. Some years ago, I met John, a secondary school graduate, faced pressure from our family to pursue a degree in business administration. Instead of our passion for tailoring, we need to change our view and value critical profession 
which are vital for our independence and prosperity as a nation. Thank God that that perspective is now changing as if this issue wasn't enough. There are other challenges on the horizon. Neighboring nations like Togo, Niger, Benin, and Ghana are gradually filling the gaps left by skill workers leaving the country and the shortage of the skilled workforce in the country. Construction sites, plumbing jobs, and electrical work in the country are increasingly being handled by skilled workers from our neighboring countries. Why this helped fill the immediate needs? It has significant long term implications. The money we pay to these workers often lifts our economy. Every naira paid to foreign workers is a naira that doesn't circulate within Nigeria's economy, reducing our economic growth potential. Let's take a closer look at these economic leakages. According to a recent study, billions of naira are paid out annually to foreign workers in various sectors. This money, instead of being reinvested in our local economy, benefits other nations. Now, imagine if those billions stayed within Nigeria economy, supporting local businesses, funding education and improving our infrastructures. This is the economic power we are losing. So what can we do to reverse this trend and secure our future? Addressing the shortage of skilled workers in the essential trade is crucial for Nigeria infrastructures and economy. And here are some steps we must take. First, enhancing vocational training centers or training program with better foundations and infrastructures. Also, improving the working condition and pay for trade people and also shifting the societal perception to value skilled trade equally with white collar jobs and also create incentive for our skilled workers to remain in the country to contribute their best to the development of our economy and also ensure that digital economy complements traditional trade rather than replacing them. Imagine a well-funded vocational training center equipped with modern tools and filled with eager students. This is a future we need to strive for and also creating incentive for skilled workers to remain in Nigeria and ensure that the digital economy complements the traditional trades, which also be crucial. Thanks for watching. Please like, share your comments and if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe to keep receiving impactful content for us and don't forget to turn on the notification icon.